We're going to be opening up three new sabers today. They're all from the pack store. Uh, I don't want to divide them up in three different videos because I just don't want to. I just want to open them all at once. And that's why you're getting three sabers in one video. I will have to come up with some other content for future videos because this could be three videos, but, but I'm nice and impatient. But uh, yeah, no, I'm excited for these three. I'm very excited for one of them. So uh, let's just get this box open. You know, I could just grab a knife and cut this together and just open it and cut together and I'd get the same effect, but I've committed to the bit now. Who needs knives when you got lightsabers? Uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be happening. It's not, uh, it's not screwing on properly. It's very loose, and if I try and... Oh, no, there we go. Yeah, but still very loose. Uh, I don't like the, um, stir the bed. I don't like. I don't like. It's got, like, the edges on the front. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's, like, it's not smooth. It's from the cutting of the thing. The thing, the metal. Uh, so I'll have to sand that down. Actually, does this come off? If I take the weird pommel here, does this... Maybe if I screw it off. It feels a bit loose. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can get that off. Got to get on. There's something weird going on down here. I think I got a slightly defective uh, threading down here. So, of course, this is the Qui-Gon Jin. Yeah, it's 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 actually not as cool in person as I... And does this come off? Oh, yeah, this little top piece here is also screwable. It's not as cool in person as I thought it'd be. That's no fault of the uh, creators of the saber. The design is just... I don't know. I thought I would like it a lot more, but I'm okay with it. I don't know, maybe because it's, it's an empty hilt, because I don't swim in money. <laughs> and I want to make a video on the lightsaber again, but you know, again, money. But maybe it's just that, like, let's just imagine. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I don't know. And now a key somewhere. Where the shit? I have like 300 sabers. How do I not know where my Allen keys are? What the crap? There's not a single Allen key anywhere. What the fuck did I do with my 300 Allen keys? Will this work? It's very wobbly. And it's not the blade. It's this thing. It's... I'm very confused about this saber. Yeah, you can kind of hear it. It's like banging against the back here. I'm just going to screw it in a little bit better, but there's nothing up here. There's only one screw here holding it on. So it's like a little bit loose. So when you're moving it, if you're holding it by the choke, it kind of feels like it's about to fall apart. <laughs> we got another one. Allen key. Or Allen wrench. Or hex wrench. No, that's a different thing, is it? I don't remember. Anyway. Open for me. Nice. This is smaller than I thought it would be. Sorry. <laughs> Video. As uh, Calcastus' saber. Or a Fallen Order inspired one. I mean, expected it to be bigger. But I guess that's because I have the, uh, the Saber Forge one, which is like more to scale. Why is that making a sound up here when I twist this? Oh, because that's how sound travels. Duh. I believe this is, well, don't quote me on this, but um, this is the one, God, what's his name? It, names always, God damn, escape me. He's a lightsaber guy on TikTok. Uh, Jedi Phoenix? Let me double check that. Yes, there he is. Darth Phoenix. See, I was right. Darth Phoenix. I believe he has this saber. Uh, he had it installed with a um, Profi. Uh, so I was curious about it. Uh, it has a lot smaller it's not to scale this is the uh, the saber forge one if you haven't seen that review check it out up here so as you can see there's a big size difference between these like, huge 
you go. Perfect. Got my Michael Caster's double saber. Anyway, sorry. Surprisingly, it's uh, another. How do you use this, Phoenix? Because the group section, these little, like the grenade grip here, that is in. Oh, that, oh this comes apart. That's not nice. <laughs> like, yeah, it's a good grip, but like, if, unless you're wearing your. Actually, I don't know. This is weird. Yeah, no, how do you. Why do you choose to use this? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> okay. I mean, to each his own, no judgment here. But like, why? <laughs> cool saber and all, but like all of this here, again, it's not, it doesn't, I can. I could still use this. There are just other sabers <laughs> that like don't have all of these. That's the thing about replicas. They're always made to look stylish or look nice like in movies and games, but for actual use, like here, you're gonna, you always wanna hold it up here close to the blade. If you're holding this and you just do a basic little spin here, this is gonna be digging into your hand on the other side here. Like again, I'm not gonna actually hurt myself with this, but it's just so extra. I mean, I could hold it like this, but again, I could have a saber that just doesn't have this. Hold it down here by the choke. It's pushing up into this stuff here. Even if you just hold it with two hands, as soon as I grab it, I'm just... No. Because... <laughs> like, usually, when you're using a saber, at least when I use it, my hands shift place depending on where I'm going. You know, so if I'm striking this and this, this changes. So it's... And even, yeah, now this, you can... My hands slightly shift, so I'm kind of pushing against the grip here. It's actually not as uncomfortable as I'm making it out to be, but it is still <laughs> mildly inconvenient. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, quick update. I just talked to Darth Phoenix, and he agrees it's not a very comfortable saber. He even warned me about the shroud on this thing, because he cut himself pretty bad, he said. So, another thing to be careful about if you purchase this. But again, I do like the design. It seems like a very... Well, I mean, it's a very just... Basic. You can tell where it's from. Gets the do job done that way. I would not recommend getting this if you're gonna be using it though. Surprisingly, I would actually recommend the Saber Forge one more. I believe this is the first version though. I don't think they sell this anymore. But like still, I was complaining in my video about this little sharp thing back here, which this one doesn't have, which, you know, helps, but it's kind of useless when everything else is so much more uncomfortable. Uncomfortable, my own opinion, by the way. The internet seems to be very, very defensive and agitated about everything. I'm not here to tell you to not buy this. If you're a fan of this saber, go buy it. If you're a fan of the pack store, go ahead. I am a fan of myself. I've got a lot of sabers on them. All of them have been pretty okay. <laughs> well, they've all been okay. <laughs> like, there's just no truly comfortable because lightsabers are again i am a i'm a swinger that means something else if you're not a okay <laughs> in my terms a swinger means that i use these lightsabers for swinging that type of swinger <laughs> but like for me as someone who likes choreography and likes using the sabers like you get holy shit this guy oh wow this is so hot okay let's just turn that off whoa that's not good <laughs> that's been on for too long Ooh, I'm worried about, why is the battery so hot? <laughs> Jesus Christ, what's happening? But yeah, a saber like this, when it's not scolding hot, when it's not scolding hot, it's like there's, it's so smooth and there's actually, there's nothing here that's digging into my palm or stopping me from using it without thinking like, oh wow, that's kind of uncomfortable. Well this, there's literally no place for me to hold this and spin it that something is not poking me. So, that's my criticism. That's like my own. It's my own fault. I bought replicas because I was curious, especially with this one. I was curious how this would hold up against Saberforge. And surprisingly, I'm actually more into the Saberforge, which I don't know why I'm surprised about it. I thought this would be more of a dueling 
kind of thing. I've gotten so many sabers that excitement for them has kind of died down, so... Ooh, sorry, my stomach just started hurting a lot. What the fuck? All right, we gotta stop for now. Six and a half hours later. <sighs> Holy shit. Literally. This might be the dumbest thing I have ever bought. Um, so this is definitely the stupidest thing on their page, on their page, on their website, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's something that I really wanted because it's dumb and I'm definitely going to hurt myself with this. What you are looking at here are lightsaber nunchucks. See what I mean with hurt myself? <laughs> this is such a bad idea. I didn't realize how difficult this probably is until I... I've never held nunchucks before. I don't... No, I've never held them before. And I'm also very worried about... Are these... Metal? Are these real? I think they're... I think they're metal. Okay, I don't think these are going to come apart. But this is the dumbest... <laughs> oh my god. Here's the thing. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to learn one trick with these. And I'm going to get way too confident. And I'm going to get this right in the face. That is, like, exactly what's going to happen. Where's that? Whoa. Whoa. Oh god. How do they do... Wait. What did I just do? It's like this, right? And then, oh, come on, get here. Yeah. This is gonna hurt. This is, holy crap, this is so dumb. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn like some nunchuck tricks for this, but this is not gonna go well. I don't think this is like, I don't know. I hope it's not gonna go flying. What do they do? Because Bruce Lee, it's like the thing. They like you can do this. So you're supposed to like, oh, like. <laughs> oh my god! Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.